Okay, so hello, 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 you guys. So I was talking to nothing, ten, about 10 minutes. Yes. <laughs> so I'm going to just repeat myself. Yeah. Happy you're here. Welcome, welcome. And um, sometimes I talk a little bit about the big six, the big six of addictions. So then we're talking people addictions, drugs, alcohol, um, technology, money, and um yeah, that's it. So food, drugs, alcohol, technology, money, and uh, alcohol. Yeah, that's it. So the big six, food, drugs, people, alcohol, money, and technology. I'm getting a little bit of a brain fuck because of uh, I was just talking to air about 10 minutes. So that's it. this is why my am a little bit. So I'm just going to cool myself down. Just going to take a couple of breaths. Maybe you can take a couple of breaths with me. So, what I wanted to say about drugs. Just a couple of things. Okay, so I want to start with it dims our light. Drugs dim our light. Everything we're doing with practicing, breathing practice, especially Kundalini yoga, but all sorts of practices is all about stoking up the fire, enhancing our inner light, our shining light, our enthusiasm. Drugs have the tendency to dim it, not in the moment that we're high, of course, but when we take it for a long time and we don't do any practice, it sort of dims, it closes the heart, it dims the light. So, um, yeah, that, that's, that's, that's kind of really a shame, of course, for uh, the life force inside of us. Then uh, another thing it does, it attacks the nervous system. Drugs attack our nervous system. And many things attack our nervous system, of course. Stress is also a biggie. And the consequence of uh, an agitated nervous system is that we are quickly, much more quickly irritated by other people. We interpret situations more to the negative, to the heavy side instead of the positive side. We are hard on ourselves. The inner critic is much louder. Um, an, uh, yeah, an agitated nervous system is also much more fearful. So all these lower frequencies um, become much more present in our lives when we take drugs on a regular basis. Then uh, we also lose our sharpness, our connection to present time. We lose our memory, we become a little bit stupid, and we lose our sharpness. So those are all reasons why we really want to think again about having a, a, a good drug intake, a regular drug intake, because it's on the, on the long run, it, it influences our nervous system, it dims our light, and we become kind of stupid. So if we want to slow down the taking the drugs or quit, then I would advise to, it starts all, most of the time it starts with alcohol, right? The moment we take alcohol, we are much more vulnerable for other drugs and substances. And also if we are not challenged in our lives, like having something uh, challenging to do with where we need all our power or, we, or we're not having a good time and we actually have a life in which we more need to struggle instead of enjoying it, then of course we're much more vulnerable for addictions. So I would suggest that if you want to slow down your addiction or you want to quit, make sure you arrange your life so that it's uplifting, so that you enjoy it and you get satisfaction out of your days. And um, the more we can do the practices, the more we are able to connect to the present moment. So if you need to do stuff which you don't like, but you really need to do it because life is just giving you that situation, then we need to develop our skills to be able to connect to the present moment. Because in the present moment itself, there's always a choice to focus on the heavy stuff or on the light stuff. And there's always the choice. So the moment we are much more fit and centered in our own being, the moment we are, we are more capable to connect to this positive side, to the actual vibration, we, we, we are able to put our lens on, um, on the stuff that is uh, actually present and the sensation of it. And we can vibrate on that thing. 
uh, everything is interdependent on how you judge a situation and how we judge a situation. There are so many angles. And so we are able to uh, choose the angle of lightness when we are more fit in our system. So I hope you guys can feel a little bit what I'm what I'm talking about and uh, um, maybe I can get more uh, less abstract and more precise in my explanation as time continues. Okay, then let's start moving you guys. Let's come and stand up and let's move. Um, Put your speakers loud. Arms wide. Now, put your attention in your hands. Hands are wide open. Spread your fingers. Spread your hands. Energy in your hands. Now, see if you can pull the shoulders down. Activity in your upper arms. Feel your muscles in your, of your upper arms, feel your biceps, feel your triceps working. Everything is in the intentional way you keep your body. It also connects us again to the present moment. So we're going to go a little quicker. Strong arms, wide fingers. anymore we just go to the front keep your hands wide spread your fingers Use your brain to keep 
front and up. gonna swim swim ah. Ah. now we're gonna have the elbows at the height of the shoulders yeah arms up fingers wide belly strong inhale exhale inhale Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Elbows at the height of the shoulders. stand here and just be in a, like a squat like this belly is going to be strong you roll the shoulders back you're going to like have the fingers crossed except for the index finger yeah roll the shoulders back inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down Straight. 
perfect circle. Other way around. Big circles. Oh. All right, so I'm gonna go get you guys into a circle. Are you gonna keep your hand like this? Yeah. So. Push the hands forward. Lift them up. Bend your elbows. Bend your elbows behind you. Yeah? And take them to the side. Push the rest to the side. Push, push forward. And then to the other side. Bending your elbows. Behind the head. To the front. Bending your elbows. Bend your elbows, hands behind the head. Both of your legs are wide. You're going to interlace the fingers behind you. Open up your chest. And then we're going to slowly come forward. Bending forward. Bend your knees. Bend your knees. Big breath. come up simply stand for a moment take three breaths feel your heart beating exhale out of the mouth Come lie on the floor, we're going to come on our backs. Ok, 
Okay, so lie on your back, lift up your legs, turn your feet around. Turn your feet around, push the lower back into the floor. So we're going to go to a Kriya, using the belly, take your right knee in, left leg forward, lift the shoulders, arms up, chin to the chest, inhale, exhale, inhale, stoking up the fire, inhale, Activity in the feet, flex your feet, push the lower back into the floor, your arms to the back, stretch it out, and then we're going to come seated, all right, place your hands on the floor, a little bit in front of your hips, or to the side, wherever you feel comfortable, really, wherever you feel comfortable, then take your feet a little closer, yeah, and you're going to come up, lift up your hips, push up, Roll the shoulder blades towards each other. Roll the shoulder blades towards each other. Now maybe you can go to the back. Stretch your legs. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. on the floor and lift up so maybe you need you maybe you need to bend your knees that's fine just to the front all right so you're going to take your right leg hands behind the head maybe they can touch maybe not maybe you can bend your knee Maybe you bend your knee. Maybe that's a good idea. Other side. So if you don't need to bend, you keep your legs straight. And otherwise you bend. Nice work. Lift, lift, maybe you bend your knees, lift, chest high, reach. All right, you guys, so just a twist, take your right foot in, chest is open, change to the right, and twist. Neck is free. going to go to the other side, stretch your leg, take the other foot in, again make sure you're straight on top of your sitting bones, twist to the other side, take your hand and twist, ah, make sure again your neck is free, both of your sitting bones are on the floor, your front foot is flexed, close your eyes, keep your jaw loose. And 
and then come up, sit in tailor seat. Right foot forward, left foot back. Place both of your hands forward. And this is already a stretch, maybe in the hips. So if you're super supple, you place your foot on your knee and then you come forward. Maybe you place your elbows in front of you, maybe not. Just see if you can relax. Open up the hips. Big breath. So if you're quite stiff in the hips and this is your posture, bring your hands behind you and push your lower back forward, middle back forward. And then this is your stretch. Yeah? Doesn't matter where you are, as long as you feel it opening up here. So this is for the people who are a little bit not so open. If you're a little bit open and you can sit to the front, maybe you're here, maybe here, maybe all the way forward. And then we're gonna change the side, left foot forward. Again, this is maybe it. So you don't wanna be like this, yeah? All the chest open. Big breath. Three more big breaths. And then slowly come up. Come in tailor seat circle your body so for the people who want to open up their hips more just stay seated on the floor more often if you watch your telly if you read a book just the more you live on the floor the more your hips will open up that's really a good trip all the people in Asia they are so supple because they live on the floor they eat on the floor they do everything on the floor all right so now we're going to go into our meditation so you guys this is such a such a beautiful meditation sit comfortable maybe you want to sit on a cushion or on a block take something to lift up your butt yeah okay we're gonna breathe only through the nef left nostril why? Because the left nostril cools you down, slows down the thought process. The right nostril amps it up. So if you feel agitated, anxious, you want to start breathing only to the left. If you feel depressed and you need a little hit, you only breathe to the right nostril. So this is to slow ourselves down. We're going to close the right nostril. And then we're going to go with the left hand like this so your left hand is up like this it will keep you more present and you close the right nostril with your thumb or however you want and then you close your eyes and we're going to do five counts in and five counts exhale I'll count for you. Close the right nostril. Bring your left hand like this. Gaze in between your eyes. Yeah. Exhale fully out. Inhale. One, two, three, four, five. Exhale. Five, four, three, two. One, two, three, four, five, exhale, 
five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Go for yourself. gazing to the third eye, relax your jaw, search for the end of your inhale, search for the end of your exhale. Observe your thoughts, but stay staring to your third eye. And bring both of your hands on your heart space. Just notice how you feel. Be with what any every anything that comes up, be with it. Allow it to be there. And then place hands on your heart space if they weren't there yet. Namaste. Greeting from my soul to your soul, from my consciousness to your consciousness. So honored if you did the practice with me. It's so important for our own evolution and for the evolution of the whole planet because we vibrate all together. So thank you for being here and I'll see you on Wednesday. Have a